Hello everyone, welcome. Today we are going to discuss with you the top five security options for Wowza Streaming Engine. My name is Rose Power and I am joined today by Frank Durant. He is our senior software engineer here at Wowza. Frank, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me again, Rose. Great to have you here. Let's dive right into our list. Number five, we have security in the Wowza Streaming Engine Manager. This is for securing incoming camera sources. Frank, would you like to talk a little bit about this one? Yeah, we've got a couple options for securing and, and making sure that the source stream that's being ingested in the streaming engine is what is coming from a place that you expect it to. So one option we have for RTSP and RTMP is to configure username and passwords for these sources. This can be set at a per application level so you don't have to share credentials. And we also have options to block duplicate streams and also filter source streams by the IP address that they're coming from. I see. So if you have an application and you have thousands of subscribers who could upload video, if you configure this module, you don't have to go in yourself and keep checking and making sure that this particular um, source is acceptable. It's already be configured with their user password. Correct. All right, number four, we have the SSL and Streamlock. Wowza does offer a security certificate option as well as methods for protecting streams across the network. Uh, Frank, do you want to explain uh, some of these options and starting with the Streamlock? Yeah, Streamlock is really here to just make things easier for us. So it is still an SSL certificate, which we support for customers providing their own, but it allows people to encrypt basic HTTP-based playback, HTTP2 in the future, and RTMP-based playback. Okay. And what if someone already has their own security certificate? Can they use that with Wowza? Of course. They do have to follow our documentation or have the know-how to import it into our, into our streaming server software, but it's doable. Okay. So the option is you could use our Streamlock, or if you already have your own, you can import it. Yes. All right, number three is Digital Rights Management, also known as DRM. And this is for adding encryption. And Frank, would you like to talk a little bit more about how that works? Yeah, a, a lot of this, a lot of the requirements that are going to force you to choose SSL and or DRM are going to be related to your business requirements. So some content providers may necessitate that the content is encrypted with DRM, and that's going to be encrypting the actual content, and it can also be used in conjunction with SSL, which will be connecting, encrypting that pipe between the client and the server. I see. So I was going to, to ask you, do you need the DRM if you already have the SSL certificate, but it sounds like it depends on your workflow and there's different requirements. Yes, that's correct. And Wowza also has modules that work with different third-party DRM providers, so it can be done easily. Okay, great, thank you. Number two, we have the Secure Token Playback Protection, and this is a challenge response system that helps to protect content against spoofing threats. Each connection is protected by a random single-use key and a password or a shared secret. So Frank, can you explain more about how this security handshake works between Wowza and the client? Of course. So at the core of this is that pre-shared secret. On top of that, we are using a secure hashing algorithm like Shape 256 or 512 that's been proven and adding in other customizable query parameters to then provide a secure means of validating that a client accessing the resources is allowed to do so. I see. Okay. And the last security option we want to share with you today is protection from hot linking. Hot linking is another word for embedding. Does this have to do with somebody trying to steal embedded links from your web page? It does. So hot link is specifically when they're taking those embed links and using them when you do not want to. Okay. All right. And so with Wowza Streaming Engine, you can configure a way to, to block people from having access to that. That's correct. All right. So those are our five security options for you, but there are a lot of options and there's always new ones coming out in the news. And so what is your advice for our users as far as what is the best strategy for security and protecting your content in 2019? I would recommend to users to follow a strategy of defense in depth. Like, it is important to only expose infrastructure and resources to people that they need to. So 
This will require that they consult operating system, infrastructure manuals, and follow best practices in those areas, and also consult individual components for the software that they're using. With Wildest Streaming Engine, we make this a little bit easier by providing a security landing page, and they can use that to lock down different protocols and features that will require some extra security. So there's really no one-size-fits-all solution here. It does depend on your workflow, and you may need to use several of these together for the best protection. Yes. Okay, great. Well, that is it for us today. Those are the top five security options. You can go to our website if you'd like to learn more. We will also link below the video here to the documentation on the WOWZA website. We do offer some custom Java modules for you as well if you need to customize some security options for your workflow. Frank, thanks so much for being here today. Appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time.